Hi, my name is Glenn Monroe. I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And today I want to show you uh, a couple of videos on how to group things together. So first of all, I'm going to work with Excel. Now with Excel, I have this table. And on this table, I've got my team Atlantic and team Pacific. And I've got my alphabetical sales reps here and my months. So I've got this big document that goes this deep and this wide. And what am I going to do with it? Well, I might want to focus on certain parts of the data. And what I'm going to do to do that is something called grouping. Now to do grouping, I'm going to go to my data ribbon. In my data ribbon, I've got this grouping option over here, group, ungroup, and subtotal. Now, the fastest, well, I'll show you the slow way, then I'll show you the fast way. The slow way is I'm going to select Alice down to Hannah, so those rows, and then I go up and hit the group key, and it puts this bar on the side, and the bar goes here, and there's a 1 and a 2, and it's a minus. If I click on the minus, it becomes a plus and squashes all the data. If I click on the plus, it expands it. Now, I have to click the plus to expand it, but I can actually just click anywhere in the bar to minimize it. Very easily to expand and contract. The one and the two also will expand or contract, and this is good when you have a whole bunch of groupings happening. So if I press a one, it takes care of the, uh, the highest level, and the two takes care of the next level. And this one and two, and you might have more options, happens as we go. Now, I'm going to undo my grouping. So click on my data, ungroup, and clear the outline. And now I'm back down to my starting point. So I can group that way top to bottom. I can also group left to right by selecting the columns I want to group. And then I would hit my group key, and now the group this way to squash or show. And you, you can kind of play around with that. I'm going to ungroup that as well. You don't have to do the whole thing. Let's suppose, actually, I'm going to do this again. I want to group the whole thing left to right, but maybe I want to insert a column for my first quarter. So click on column F, insert a column. I'll call that Q1. And then I want to group inside this grouping. I select these three columns, hit my group key, and there we go. I've got a Q1 within my 2014. So you can group at different levels. And you'll notice because I've added a second level, I now have an option three. The one is the parent level, the two is the second level, and the three is the third. And you can have fourth and fifth and sixth. It just starts getting a little excessive. Let me delete a couple things here. I'll delete my column and remove my outline altogether. Now here's the fast way of doing it. The fast way is if you have your table all laid out ready to go, click anywhere in the data, go to group and choose auto outline. Bam, it's all fired up. So now I've got my left to right is taken care of. And up and down, I have my options of viewing nothing and then clicking a plus here. Now, I deliberately added in the Team Atlantic and Team Pacific rows. A lot of times you won't have that done um, on a table because what happens is, you know, most times what people would have is just the months or the names or whatever and then a total row. But when you do that, as I delete this row, if I don't put those rows in, and then I go in grouping, it becomes hard to see because I've got my teams. But when I open Team Pacific, it kind of feels like it's Team Atlantic. So because of that label at the top, it can kind of throw things off a bit. Let me just undo a couple steps here. Now, the other thing you can do with grouping is you can choose if the plus is at the bottom of the list or the top of the list. I like the redundancy. I like to have the label at the top. I like to have a total at the bottom, and that way I can see both. But you can choose where this is. What I'm going to do now is I'll clear my outline again. Uh, go to my group or ungroup. Actually, I'll go to my ungroup, clear my outline. In my outline group, in the bottom right corner, is a launcher box. I click that, and under here you'll see summary rows below detail. So that puts the Team Atlantic, that's where the plus is. I'm going to turn that off. So now the summary row will be at the top of the detail. And summary at the right, I'm going to leave that one there. Because um, I want to see my 2014 squash there. So I'll leave that one in place. And I hit OK. Here we go. Let's group this again. Auto outline takes care of that. And oh, that didn't stick, the below. So let me try that again. Go to outline, turn that off, apply the styles. There we go. And now I have my thing at the top here to expand or collapse. So maybe when everything is collapsed now, it becomes easier to see that's Team Atlantic 
and that's Team Pacific. So it's little choices there, but otherwise very easy to use. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay pumped, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.